Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Star Flames. Now guys, you know what to do. If you're new, subscribe, turn on your notification bell and join the family. Now guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna reportedly declining on headlining the 2025 Coachella Festival. I believe I said this to you all like two to three weeks ago. I said to you guys that I've learned that it was Rihanna and Kendrick Lamar who was to headline Super Bowl 2025 evenly. Someone said, but Rihanna has no song. But Rihanna doesn't need new songs. This girl has hits like no other artist has. She has one of the... um. She is one of the most versatile artists we have ever seen. She doesn't have the best voice, but she has the best delivery. She knows how to connect to the audience. So Rihanna is one of those people. If you look at her charting number, she has been breaking Spotify records, even though she hasn't released any new body of work. So Rihanna's work that she has released so far, it's completely timeless. And her fan base, they're still in love with it, even though they have been dragging her ass every day for new music. Now, guys. Let's get into this report, because according to Bloomberg, the president of Golden Voice, Paul Tollett, started looking to secure potential headliners for 2025 in April. Report states he had his, eye, he had his eyes on Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna. Unfortunately, both passed on the offer to several people familiar with the matter. With currently just six months left, they have to figure something out. They have to secure a new headliner. And did you guys see that last interview that Rihanna did? Rihanna was basically telling us that she's tired. You know, the girl was saying that she's just tired sometimes because we know that she has a lot on her plate. She's a full hands-on mom. She has Fenty Beauty doing. She has, you know, she is the brand ambassador for a few brands. She's still working with Puma. This girl has is biting off more than what she can chew. So she's letting her fan base know that sometimes she tired, she's tired and it's not as though she wouldn't want to, you know, come to some of these red carpet events, but she's just tired. Sometimes she even hates dressing up nowadays, knowing that she is someone who has always loved and enjoy, you know, dressing up and stepping out on the red carpet. But I guess her mom alive has changed all of that. No, guys. I don't know. What about Drake? I mean, Drake was a banger or is it that they're looking at it saying, you know, Kendrick Lamar has ended Drake's career this year, so he may not deliver such a stellar performance? Or is it that they feel as though the crowd may not be so warmly receptive towards him? But guys, it's really interesting to see how high in demand Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna is. And as I've told you guys a couple weeks ago, I did told you all they are high in demand. And it was originally said that it would have been those two who would evenly headline Super Bowl. But we know that Rihanna is also a graceful young lady. You know, she could have been given the offer and like, no. I'm not going to steal Kendrick's shine. You know that she's that type of girl. So, I mean, I have to say, you know what? Rihanna has a lot on her plate and evidently Kendrick Lamar too. Or could it be something more secretive behind the scenes? I want to hear from you guys because sometimes they're gossips and you just don't know. <laughs> so let's get the discussion popping up while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe. Stay sweet. Stay blessed. And see you guys later. Bye, guys.